I think Baltimore has a spirit of doing it yourself only because we have no other choice but to do it ourselves. You can recognize a bud as a flower, it's just like still getting there. It's still in a part of that cycle. It's been many, many have an industry telling us what to do. We don't have, you know, these corporate institutions, you know, influencing our creative work. It don't matter what season it is. <laughs> the work does not stop. There's no breaks. If I'm being called to a place, if I'm called, being called to do something, I should probably listen to that voice. What you do creatively, it can take you anywhere you want to be. really important to give back to the community and young people especially um, in the form of knowledge. By the end of each class we have like two or three beats. Before they know math, before they know anything that a school teaches you, they are born creative. They are born artists. The Baltimore sound is strong, it's tough, it's gritty, but it's still soulful. Jubilee is right there on Penn Ave. Um, so it's like a lot of the kids just are absorbing music all the time. Uh, I learn a lot from these kids. Um, I learn about being influenced by your environment and um, utilizing the resources that are right in front of you. Yes, I do. Community is real collaborative. It's very do-it-yourself because we don't have a lot of platforms. Rather than knocking on doors, you create your own door. I feel like the first song I ever wrote, I was in middle school. Stuff we like to do, they really like to dance. Like, they love to dance, especially to their own beats. They love to rap and sing. Um, Good job. Anybody else want to move it? You can move it up. It's really important that we're giving resources to young people from here. It's really about giving young people the education so that they can return power back to the city. I blossom at the different venue spaces, like the Crown, um, each other's houses, go and see other DJs and performers, and. I, I dance and I hang out with my friends and it's the best part of my week. Like working with Blush and Bruise, one of the main collabs that I've had, Jacob always shows love every time. Blush and Bruise is awesome. DJ Jack Jill, she was the first DJ that went on. Really liked her set. <laughs> Oh, Chiffon, saw them, seen them a few times, but, you know, they always kill it. There's such a 
spirit of collaboration going around. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm making this movie right now, but like you and I talked about like collabing, and I think that's really fun that like at any given moment you could have so many brewing collabs with so many people. Why I wanted to start curating my own shows is so that artists get paid. We would take donations for different organizations in Baltimore. We're just people in need in Baltimore. How are you guys doing? You can come closer, we're just warming up. I've learned to trust my friends as well as myself when it comes to shows. Well, throwing a party is a form of social entrepreneurship. I have to book the space. I have to find the talent or be the talent myself. I started a collective called Girl Power a few years ago in response to like lack of femme women DJs. The art collectives that exist in Baltimore do the work that we will one day like to see these art institutions do. Like all of these people are not just invested in like performing their music for these spaces. For me, a lot of my work has to be about affecting others or I wouldn't feel like it's my work and I wouldn't feel like I have a purpose but also making these spaces so that people behind them don't have to go through what they went through. Baltimore's always had a fertility of, of collaboration and uh, it's maintained that. I've been here 15 years and it hasn't lost a bit of that. We see each other uh, making things happen and we get inspired and that pushes each and every one of us to do it ourselves, DIY. I like that idea about sprouting where I'm planted because I feel like I've been blown about a lot in my life. That's a brilliant, brilliant and honestly really succinct way of looking at it. The art in Baltimore is fantastic and it's bringing people here. I ended up being planted here and so, you know, whatever, I'm a windblown seed. <laughs> I just think that the city needs to invest in that more. They need to value not only the artists, but a lot of other things more. It is kind of, it's plant management. Without underground spaces, the artists can't be what they are. That's why losing a place like the Bell was so, so detrimental because it's not just a training ground, but it is, it's more like a, a, a perfecting ground. But that's that DIY mentality. They can never take that away from you. They can never take your art away from you. So they can always try to take your little space away from you, but they yeah. can never take your ideas. They can exactly. never take your brain. Mm -hmm. And I feel so fortunate to have found this place. And now I'm here getting interviewed by Emily. And like, if you want to be get, if you want to get interviewed by Emily, you need to follow your dream. I'm really excited for the future when we aren't like sprouting from the pavement, when we're like massive, blossoming and beautiful, and I'm just excited for that day. Love, right? Yes. We love love, right? I love my mommy. Oh, that's important. <laughs> 